It's time for another Dice Tower review from Gamer's Remorse. Today on Gamer's Remorse, we'll be playing Beguile, a chess-based game while acting like wizards who are really bad at quoting movies. Beguile is a game for two players and takes about 40 minutes to play. This game is a deck of cards added to a chess set to give a game of pure strategy a bit more of chance. The rules of the game are quite simple. Each player is given five cards at the beginning of the game and can play only a single card on their turn. Each time a card is played, it is replaced until the deck runs out. There are two types of cards. Cards with a T, which mean it takes the user's turn, and a card with a C, which means the player gets to perform their turn in addition to playing this card. And finally, a card cannot be played to bring the king into checkmate. Beyond the cards, the standard rules of chess apply. The gold side will be played by Archmeg Nond Gandalf, and the silver side will be played by Professor Felix Felicius. Today, I will be playing the gold character, and I will be silver, like my fabulous hair. I color it magically. Since you're the silver player, you go first. Well, all right here then. I will draw five cards. I'm going to play immediately and discard turn of the tables. Oh, I need to draw five as well. Do not confuse me for some conjurer of cheap tricks! <laughs> that is how we roll in Hogwarts. School of Beguiling. School of Rock! <laughs> we relabeled it. After the whole Voldemort situation. Lame. <laughs> <laughs> this is hardly magical. This is the least magical game I've ever played in my life. <laughs> The princess. She's in another castle. I'll be playing the princess card today. Hey, look, right there. Boom. Okay. The princess. Princess. One of your pawns may move like a queen for one turn. It's like this Ooh. odd version of British and <laughs> English. And southern right. deep south. <laughs> right. All right. Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs> Kill this guy. Alright, check this out. Check this out. Driving rain forces you back one. Ooh. And I still get my turn. Uh, I'm gonna use him to get rid of him. I'm going to use the brawler. One of my pawns can move like a rook for a turn. Merlin's beard. Oops. Wait, wait, before you do that, before you do that, Spire, play Spire to nullify an enemy card that is played offensively against you. So that did not happen. He just reversed time <laughs> with magic. Avada Kedavra, that's the only spell I know. Slightly differently. I transmogrified his queen into a pawn. Well? <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I guess since I no longer have a queen, I could discard that feminine <laughs> charm. What, what's, do you, do you hear thunder? <laughs> Cause there is some lightning. Destroying your tower. Possession. Use this card to take control of one of your opponent's pieces and have it do your evil bidding. 
Well, who are you taking over? I'm actually going to use your king to kill your queen. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. You can do that? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty twisted, right? <laughs> King's like, I have no use for you anymore, m'lady. I did not see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> right? You probably thought I was going to go after your other knight or yeah. something, but no. Alright, um... I am going to walk through the catacombs. One, two, three, four. It is quite interesting. I mean, I guess I have to move here, right? I don't even have an option. Hey, uh -huh, quick enough. Hey, uh -huh. All right, I'm gonna play Rush. Rush. What that lets me do is move my rook across the entire length of the board, sweeping up everything in its path. So, <laughs> including my own guy. <laughs> Hashtag worth it. Mm-hmm. Hashtag, oh yeah! What, what? I am using the prince, which enables one of my pawns to move like the king. <sighs> Necromancy. I can summon a fallen guy to its original square. Oh! Oh, oh, wait, no, 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 I can't. Why? It's because oh, the original okay, square there. is full. Mmm, he may mildly hate me. I'm gonna play the thief and steal two cards from you. <laughs> I really want that card! <laughs> Neither of those are what I wanted. Yes! <laughs> Move him here, I guess. No, I will play that here, let's see. And resurrect my fallen queen. Wait, wait, wait. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Um... The Ferryman, immediately following the resurrection or promotion of an opponent's piece, play this card to remove that piece from the board. You will be missed, my queen. Beguile. There we go. <laughs> I'm like, wizard chess, wizard chess. All right, now we're going to move on to our reviews of Beguile, or wizard chess, as I will affectionately call it, for the rest of my days. All right, I'll go ahead and I'll jump into my rubric because mm -hmm. I can, and I have awesome hair. Granted, so do you. Mm -hmm. uh, so as far as visuals go, this game was um, interesting in that it requires a chessboard, and so I would love to rate it highly on the awesome visuals of the chessboard that we had, being an awesome chessboard, but that would not be fair to the game. So looking strictly at the cards themselves, the art did the job. Um, I mean, it wasn't anything astounding, but, you know, it's decent card stock, the images portrayed what was happening in an amusing manner. Uh, reminded me very much of Munchkin's art style. Um, I gave it 1.25 out of 2 for the visuals uh, in that regard. Uh, skill and luck out of 1, I'm going to give it 0.25. Uh, chess is a game almost entirely of skill, and this is a game saying, let's throw that out the window. Um, in a previous playthrough, we saw it come down to the very end where one player was destroying the other player, and then they're like, turn the tide, or turn the tables, and oh look, I now won. <laughs> um, we actually saw that happen twice. <laughs> so, a aspects of that kind of ruin the rest of the strategy in the game when it comes down to a random coin toss, and things out of that. So I only gave it a .25 out of skill and luck. For pacing, um, one of the things that can drive me crazy in chess is the players who take forever to take a turn. Uh, this does expedite that slightly, but you do have, you know, the people who will keep their finger on the piece for five minutes as they analyze everything. You know, so I'm giving it the one out of two for pacing. Uh, it's not as bad as regular chess can be in the pacing, but it's still fairly long and tedious where you can just be sitting there watching. Uh, the theme and immersion for this game I'm going to give Theme and Immersion 0.75. Uh, there wasn't really much theme in chess originally, um, unless you want to argue your armies fighting with random things, but why they could only move certain directions makes no sense whatsoever. Um, I know friends who are arguably bishops that can move in more ways than diagonally, and I've seen horses walk in straight lines. 
Um, <laughs> you know, and so then adding all these random cards doesn't necessarily help the theme in immersion. So 0.75 out of 2 for the theme. Uh, the mechanics, I'm giving it a 0.25, um, which kind of seems harsh, 0.25 out of 1. Uh, but the mechanics, it was, hey, let's take a game that already has mechanics built into it and just add chaos. Uh, the new cards didn't really add any new mechanics that I found fascinating or enlightening in any way. Um, and then was the game, uh, then was it fun? Uh, I, I gave it a one out of two for the fun because it was silly. Um, if you enjoy chess, I don't think you would enjoy Beguile if it's like one of your favorite games. But if you enjoy a casual game of chess and you have a friend who's kind of on the sidelines of chess, it's like, hey, here's a fun way to just have some silly old fun for, you know, for a few minutes. Do not mistake me for some conjurer of cheap tricks. <laughs> I'm trying to help you play games and such. <laughs> let's, let's bust into my rubric, if you will. All right, you guys ready? Y'all warmed up? You jazzercised? Let's do this, let's take it up a notch. Quality components, zero to two. I'm giving it a one. Here's the thing, it's a deck of cards. I think it's probably 54 cards, kind of a regular playing card deck. The, uh, the art style, as Brian said, was uh, munchkin-y, and I kind of like that. <laughs> It was fun, but it's just a deck of cards, right? As Brian said, we play on a pretty sweet chess table, but it's not, that's not the game, right? It's in addition to a game you already own. So that said, uh, you know, it was okay, I guess. So one. Good balance of skill to luck, zero to one. I'm actually giving it a zero, <laughs> right? I know that's a little rough, it's a little harsh but it's supposed to be that way. So I, I really think the creator probably won't take offense to that. It's just one of those games that it's silly. You're not supposed to have strategy. Analysis paralysis. Here, you guys can't hear me, I'm gonna do this. Now it's a neck beard. It's a legitimate neck beard, folks. What do you think of that? Anywho, analysis paralysis, zero to one. I'm giving it a 0.5. Uh, occasionally I would look at cards and kind of Oh, I'm gonna do that. No, 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 no. I'm gonna do this other one. Oh, nope, can't do that, you know. So, I mean, it was it was slightly analysis paralysis prone, but seriously, if you're not playing it to win, it shouldn't take you that long. Uh, theme, zero to two. I'm actually giving that a one. As Brian said, it's based off of chess. What's the theme there? Not really, I mean, it's... It's all strategy without any of the extra stuff, if you will. Uh, so the cards themselves represent kind of a medieval kingdom type thing full of goofy characters. I mean, that's really about it. So I don't know. I didn't feel a whole lot of theme there. So I'm going to give that a one. Thrill competitive zero to two. I'm giving that a one again because it's so random. It's hard to feel that thrill. It's hard to feel that competition other than I naturally am competitive, mm -hmm. so, eh. All right, was it fun, one to two? I actually gave it a 1.5, because as Brian said, you don't play this game to play a serious game. It's something goofy to throw into the mix. If you're like, hey, I play chess all the time. Well, actually, if you play chess all the time, it's a <laughs> game for you. So let me, let me strike that from your pretty little mind right now. This is a game you would play if you're like, well, I haven't, I have a chess board that I haven't played in 20 years. Let's dust that off and uh, give this a go. It might actually be a pretty good game to introduce your kids to chess. However, you should inform them ahead of time that this is not chess. This is Beguile <laughs> chess. Totally different. You know, if they show up on like some amateur league chess team in high school, <laughs> And they're like, sweet, I got to turn the tables card. Everyone's gonna laugh at them and then they're gonna have this psyche and then you're gonna have to deal with that. It's a whole thing. Counseling, not you. Yeah, no good, no good. So what I'm saying is this game, fun, not competitive, not serious, fun. So anyway, my total ended up being five out of 10. Now that's not a horrible score. It just means for our group of gamers, it's probably not going to be that great of a game, mm -hmm. you know? But for some people that are looking for a fun twist on chess, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say 
<laughs> is if you have a kid that you're trying to introduce to chess, maybe start out with this, because it's goofy enough that it's hard to take this too seriously. Mm -hmm. You know? Then get rid of the cards as you get, you know, as they get older, they get more used to the positioning and placement of the different uh, pieces. That's all. Yep. So, yeah. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, check this game out. I believe it's on the Game Crafter right now. Uh, we'll include a link in the introduction so you guys can skip on back there if you want to see that. Yep. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. <laughs>